Welcome! We are live from Austin, Texas. If you missed our earlier green room, we had a special guest, Lenny Lamborghini, discuss whether to support our knees with money for spinal spinosis or use it for copy paper. We also learned that it takes a prehensile dick to climb a mountain. And we're live from Austin, Texas. Please welcome to the stage, Bri Bri and the Jerk! News, Justin Robert Young's gonna finally say hello to you and everyone who's watching. <laughs> I don't know, I could do this for now. Uh, uh, Body Brushwood, that was a that was that was, that was a tightrope. You were on a tightrope as as the announcer. Short short, short notice fill in uh, uh, for 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 Brett. Uh, 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 condolences to him. If you want more information on that, watch the green room. But uh, Bonnie. Big round of applause. Huzzah! Oh, Stepping yeah. in. Wait, I feel like I need to bring out my masculine voice. I'm filling in for a very masculine sounding He's got a person, masculine so voice. I need to bring in my... my yeah, uh, uh, you, you do know that, 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 that when we, we brought him into the fold, we didn't say, you know what this show has been lacking? <laughs> Testosterone, <laughs> a masculine voice. Well, we need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we didn't need to say it because it was that obvious. <laughs> hey, big hurt. Yeah, I've seen your podcast. <laughs> How is it you're so big and masculine? <laughs> you're slinging testosterone like you were podcasting back in the aughts. <laughs> I'm trying to fix all these mics, but they keep raising the pitch of my voice. <laughs> well, I'm drooping. Uh, hey, Justin, I feel like we've spent all week together. It's because we literally have. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we have spent maybe day 20, and night, 24 hours sleeping from the last show, not awake. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, yeah, we split a hotel room. In a car. Yeah. <laughs> right, first, first story. Jury sports betting. With that, no, I, Bonnie, she has to do this. Oh, sorry. yeah, Bonnie, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, it's okay. fine. It's All fine. Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get it on the next one. Next one, next so, one. So, we're on the road, and we're in uh, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, because, uh, for reasons that will become obvious later, and uh, I realize, while we are at a bar, I, that I, sports betting is legal in Arizona. So, I got to have the outside perspective during this. And the conversation was something like, uh, hey, wait a minute. Is gambling legal in Arizona? Bartender, yes, yes, it is. When did that happen? It was like and, last year. And it was like, so it's legal for me to bet. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and it was like, yes, yes, it is. They're like, so I could place a bet right, <laughs> right now. now. Uh, anything I wanted. So I see where this is going. I excuse myself to the bathroom. And you're saying you could place a bet? A bet. A wager? Right. I can bet money on things. And so uh, uh, So I go later, to the bathroom later, and I yeah, come later, back later, and later. he's screaming at a television. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on. So uh, uh, later in the evening, sitting at another bar, and all of a sudden I see what looks to be the pregame of a college football game. More than that. It's a college football game involving a Florida team, which when you grow up in Florida, you just happen to have certain feelings about certain teams. I happen to just, because I grew up in South Florida, a general dislike for the Florida State Seminoles. And there, the Florida State Seminoles are playing on Sunday night. And I'm like, wait a minute. I ain't got shit to do but wake up tomorrow morning and get on a flight. I would love to do it having cashed out a bet against the Florida State Seminoles, I scramble on my phone, and boy, do I put $100 on the Louisiana State University Tigers against the Florida State Seminoles. This this was a curious moment for me because I was... Uh, you you mentioned that you had money invested in this game. Yeah. And, uh, and, I, and uh, I was like, oh, so it must be the Florida team because you're from Florida. And you're like, and you say, no, I hate them. And I say, uh, oh, okay. And then you say... Although 
So many of my friends go there. Yeah. My beloved when, friends. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. But but you hate them. And I was like, uh, is this, uh, do, do, do you love Louisiana LS, uh, LSU? I, I wouldn't have thought you to be an LSU fan. You're like, couldn't care less. Don't, don't give a shit. I just, I just hate FSU. <laughs> well, and, and to be fair, I don't hate them, uh, but they are enough, especially in that moment, yeah. a rooting interest that I would like to to bet a hundred dollars on. So uh, because you know, I mean, we were at the end of a very long journey, day, uh, uh, excursion that involved multiple cities. There's just a lot of shit. I was willing. I was very excited to unwind, and that was a, a, a tasty little treat for which I could I could unwind too. So for the rest of the night, uh, Justin and I chat, and uh, I chat looking at Justin's face. Justin, 90% of the time, is looking at my face with his eyes darting over to <laughs> check, check the game. And, uh, and I, I, we would have these moments where I would describe something uh, about, uh, I don't know, something we we're doing together. And he'd be like, oh, non, it's not looking good. Like, yeah, for, no, for it, the project, it'll be, it'll be like, yeah, we're talking about this stuff that we're out there for, and we're going over various different things. And then I just like, my eyes would dart up and go, well, oh, that's not good. It's like and, how, and, how and not FSU. good did the game get? Uh, I believe because also some of this begins to coincide with the uh, uh, local hop not uh, IPA that was on tap at this hotel. So things get a little bit fuzzy, but I, I believe that FSU at, at their peak was up on LSU. Either 24, 17. Okay. Yeah. So let, let's say it was, that was that was the score in 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 the fourth quarter. Let, let's I, say it was that or more. Uh, at it was a point. lot. Yeah. like it looked over. It looked done, right? Until it didn't look done, and and uh, at the point that it looks totally done, um, Justin is excited. He's very excited, and I realize uh, that that we were getting loud, and so I say, "Hey, tell you what? Why don't we get three of these Miller Lite?" Yep. Uh, why don't we head on back to the hotel room? Oh yeah, I was being too loud. I was, I, I, yeah. <laughs> I was getting, I was getting too loud. I forgot about that part. Yeah. yeah. So Brian, Brian, uh, uh, who was not as drunk as I was, uh, was like, "You're," uh, uh, and look, let me just also explain exactly how loud I was being. There are a few people who have told me you're being too loud. We need to go somewhere else. None of them have been Brian. <laughs> <laughs> so for Brian to be the one to say, hey, you're being an embarrassment, uh, uh, then like that, that explains exactly the state of mind I was in. And he's like, knows, that, knows his teammates. And he's like, hey, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm just going to get a bunch of these beers and I'm going to go down to the room. And I'm like, you got it, Captain. And then uh, uh, so we walk down and we're, we're, we're drinking in the room. So we get to the point where there's this incredible comeback for LSU. And I give two shits about LSU. I give two shits about FSU. About but I give State. all yeah. the shits about my friend Justin Robert Young. Because now all of a sudden it looks like I'm going to have a shot to win this bet. Because unlike professional football, if a uh, game ties in college football they go back and forth and they basically score a touchdown until one doesn't score the bet was a four-point spread so i needed a touchdown i wasn't going to get it if it was a a field goal but i could happen in college overtime and this starts to look increasingly more like it's going to happen and not for nothing i am all the way in he's happy i'm happy 97 yard return i don't know that seems good they, and they, unusual and now they get a touchdown and it was an amazing moment one and one second one second left in the game lsq's uh, lsu scores the tying touchdown uh at which point we're like Fuck it. We're going back to the bar. We, because we drank the beer that we, we bought. We literally begin to sprint, jogging down there. And I say to Justin, I was like, hey, what if they don't get the extra point? And Justin says, no, 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 no. In college football, overtime just keeps on going and they score touchdowns. I'm like, that's not what I said. I mean, the part where they kick the ball and, the, and it goes in or out of the H. Fuck uh, you, Brian. Uh, That'll never happen. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, by the time that we get to the bar, uh, uh, this has already happened. Bryce, can you just play this? Oh, this <laughs> uh, I think Bryce has this key up here. Right. It's blocked. It is blocked. It is blocked. <laughs> and by the way, so we are. So, so I have, uh, imagine that one. that is happening 
<laughs> and I am like fucking uh, uh, just because it's hot as shit in Phoenix, like just a mask of sweat <laughs> and adrenaline as I get, and I'm about to settle into the bar for this great overtime, and that's what's happening. And I'm like, what? Huh? <laughs> They're all like, yeah, it didn't go in. Oh. That thing that Brian literally <laughs> just said. <laughs> it it came to pass. Oh, well. it, yeah. So we got Another hop knot, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bryce, next topic. The spit. What is this? The spit. Sorry, Bonnie. Uh, the announcer. You have to announce the oh, title God. in the silence. Spit. Uh, like, uh, uh, yeah, this is the part where we start saying you have literally one job. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, spit. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, are you familiar with the film Don't Worry Darling? No, I'm not. Don't Worry Darling is an upcoming film starring uh, Harry Styles, Chris uh, Pine, Florence Pugh, and... Uh, uh, Harry Styles. Olivia Wilde. M- m- well, musician. Yeah, is it starring Olivia Wilde or just directed by Olivia Wilde? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, anyway, Olivia Wilde is involved. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, Florence Pugh is a, a Black Widow's sister. Okay. From, oh, uh, yep, yep, yep. From, from the from, MCU. From the MCU. Yeah. Uh, Harry Styles is the singer from One Direction. Yeah. Uh, also uh, had a cameo in Game of Thrones. No, that no, was that's Ed, Ed Sheeran. Sheeran. Uh, I, I, I'll, 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 I'll keep my own counsel on this one. Okay. <laughs> uh, and, and Chris Pine is the new Captain Kirk, the newer Captain Kirk. Dated Olivia Munn. Funny you should mention Olivia's. Uh oh. Because this is the movie that broke up the marriage of Ted Lasso. The, the character? No, well, <laughs> uh, if you're wondering why Jason Sudeikis wanted to write a uh, series about a guy who is getting divorced, <laughs> many have speculated that it was his failing marriage to the director of this movie, Olivia, Olivia Wilde, Wilde, who was in Tron, like who was in Tron Legacy, the Sorry. boringest Tron, the boring Tron as it's referred to. Were there in only academia. two of them? Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> so, the fine, the boringer Tron. Oh gosh. Not only does this movie have that hanging on it, yeah, that uh, uh, this the, the divorce happened in between it, but also she started dating Harry Styles it, while this movie was being filmed. Uh, so now yeah. Olivia Wilde and Harry Styles are dating. So now Harry Styles is canceled because of the power dynamic. Oh, well, what? wait, who's in the power dynamic? Wait, he's the director. Olivia is canceled. Who's canceled? Nobody's canceled. It's not a can- mm. No, you're not, not canceling. Yeah. Who am I? We got to cancel somebody. Let us finish the story. Okay. You want to cancel? I don't know. You can cancel whoever you want. Who do you want to cancel? All right, cancel? go. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you want to cancel that line of conversation? No, I, 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 I want to cancel Colin Firth as the, the penguin. <laughs> uh, uh, so they had the premiere. They had the premiere in Venice. And, and meanwhile... There is a lot of dissension amongst the ranks. Uh, Shia LaBeouf was initially cast in the Harry Styles role and then wound up leaving the production. Harry Styles came in afterward. There's like surreptitiously recorded audio, but the cast is not happy. Florence Pugh is not happy with Olivia Wilde. And there is thoughts that possibly Chris Pine is not happy with Harry Styles. Hmm. And that is the lead up to this bit of video that captivated the internet over the last 48 hours. I want you, Brian, yep. to, to see. So what Chris Pine di- is in the center. Yeah, yeah. Chris Olivia Pine's Wilde's in the center. Line. Olivia oh, Wilde wait, is in the yellow dress. And Harry Styles is in the blue suit, and he's about to sit down. You tell me what you see. Uh, Bryce, by the way, that was, that was being a very good what? teammate to let me know that that's oh, Chris that Pine in the center. <laughs> Can I walk by that? What the? F- wait, oh. wait, wait! Play it again. What? Uh, wait, how, how did I? So Harry Styles is sitting down. Chris Pine looks in his lap as Harry Styles. I saw it the first time, and now I can't see it again. The question is: Did Harry Styles, international pop star and actor, spit in the lap 
of Chris Pine while he was sitting next to him at the Venice Film Festival. Bonnie, you have now watched this clip a couple times. <laughs> spit I'm or no spit? I gotta say, it looks like his gum falls out. I'm gonna say. So you think something does come out of his mouth I and think lands he in Pine's lap? Like drops his gum. And then. What? Doesn't want to look weird and so just sits down. Oh, yeah, you know. Mm. Chris okay, I, 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 I'm going to claim unfair when the three of them are wearing uh, uh, costumes. Uh, uh, dressed up for, you know, it's yeah, night out. It's a movie no, one, look at those lapels. Yeah, but there's one lapel out. And one yeah, Harry's got a very fashion out. forward, a very long uh, one <laughs> collar. He uh, has, he yeah, he, he's got he, he's got one gigantic lapel that is like four <laughs> inches beyond his coat. Yeah, but it looks it's, like it's buttoned up to the very in. top. But then, yeah, the other one is tucked in. So it's but, only but they one. Mean, mean, meanwhile, Chris Pine is wearing capris and and uh, dressed just... like Orville Redenbacher. It's know, what, what is happening? He does look like he's about to pop some pop. And, like, and, and, and Olivia Wilde it. dressed like because, Beyonce okay. in that video where she crushes the car with the bat. Uh, yeah. Cliff Singer in the chat has a very good point. His collar does point in one direction. Ah. Uh, so we've got, there's a, a second angle on this, oh, I believe. Now we're going to see the other side. Uh, that that shows the, the, the other view of. Uh, How many people milling about? Well, it was a movie. It was a movie premiere. It was a movie premiere. <laughs> yeah. So. But don't you sit and watch the movie? As this, is, this, is, this is when they're you're being you're introduced. Yeah. Now, this is the other angle here. Did you see Spit? I didn't mm. see Spit. I'll be honest. Uh, I saw Spit. I saw a loogie clear as day the very first time the loop was played, and I never saw it again. I, know, I don't. Me too. It was the weirdest thing. But I think it was Bryce's uh, uh, mouse movement that I saw the first time. No. When you, are, when you are primed to see did he spit in his lap, you definitely see it. But I think the more you see it, the, the less it's likely. There's like a button in the background that... Man, that goes in the right direction. Actually, I right hear, I can hear you, can, you, can you please find this? The, uh, 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 there's, there's a, a, a meme edit of Harry Styles throwing a goat in in Chris Ooh. Pine's lap, <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty oh, epic. Man. It's pretty amazing. Uh, 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 but now uh, there's, there's more to this. So after oh. the after the uh, film is aired. Number one, yeah. Lawrence Pugh, the female lead of the movie, which is a female empowerment movie. Like it the is one about... dressed as a, a Princess Peach? No. No, she's oh. not in that scene right okay. there. So she is, okay. she is the lead in the movie. Uh, she shows up late to the screening, apparently oh. with an Aperol spritz. As is her right. She can. And then... Girl boss. Go uh, for it. As the... Uh, this is a thing that happens in film festivals is it becomes like a contest of how long the standing ovation was oh, yeah. oh because it then God. becomes a thing of like, oh, it was a 15 minute standing ovation at this thing. Uh, uh, there is a, 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 a multi-minute, it, it goes to four minutes uh, and then Florence Pugh just gets up and leaves and now the rest of the cast has to make the decision, do we sit here and make it obvious that she just walked off <laughs> or do we walk off with her and make it like it's a planned thing and they all walk off therefore prematurely ending the standing ovation so 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 basically the cast doing that what's that they're the cast the cast is the cast is leaving, leaving. Yeah. the female lead of the movie that they just watched is leaving uh and mm -hmm. i would imagine that she hates it the most and feels totally comfortable with the headline being walks off immediately oh it, th there is there is no doubt that these people fucking hate each other like wow. it is barely concealed contempt especially between pew and olivia wilde i mean look at yeah. this he's he threw then now that's a goat <laughs> By the way, this reaction makes more sense when it's a goat. <laughs> that that kind of like, you got me, bro. That's a goat in my lap. <laughs> this way he looks down at the goat. It totally does. <laughs> and then the goat just flops off. When in doubt, throw uh, Yeah, no, goat flop is, is better than spit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Bryce, next topic. Phoenix is hot. Uh, oh, technically you're right, Bonnie, but you made it sound like fun. 
It wasn't fun. <laughs> it wasn't it's fun. Uh, Justin, as we stood so waiting for our second shuttle to get to, well, all right, yeah, because I think we actually list time. these things as as two different uh, as 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 two different things, but we'll, we'll tell it all as one story. So we go to Phoenix, and because it's not Vegas where we were before, where everything is kind of interconnected, even if it's by a very very short cab ride. Uh, I decide I'm going to rent a car. And it's like, okay, it's Labor Day weekend. You know that stuff's going to be weird. So I'm going on to Hotwire. I'm trying to find a good deal for stuff. A bargain. Well, yeah. I mean, but normally you go to the like Hotwire and you're, you wind up getting the, the major car companies anyway. Get what you pay for. This time, I do not. <laughs> I get a rental company. That, I don't know. Should we say it? Mm, I mean... Why not? Fuck them. Yeah, it's uh, called new rental cars. N U with an umlaut, umlaut over over U, right? Oh, I just got angry hearing that. <laughs> uh, so the way that Phoenix works is they have an offsite rental car thing that's every single rental car you're company a in shit. one, right? Shuttle over. So you're already yeah, you're already in one shuttle, and then uh, uh, we get out, and and both Brian and I are like, whew, hot. And by the way, Brian and I. Veteran travelers, which means you kind of always have a light sweater or a light hoodie or something like that because the plane's cold. So even right. if you're going to somewhere hot, you always want need something to cuddle up with a blanket exactly. or whatever. Yeah. And so we walk off and we've got like these like like hoodies on and it's hotter than fucking hell, like 111 degrees Correct. as we get off this shuttle, at which point the shuttle man says, if you're going to new rental car, then you got to take a right and go down the elevator. So we start walking down, and there is the longest line I've ever seen for a rental car, anything ever. Yep. And the sign definitely says budget. <laughs> and I'm a little bit confused <laughs> because we get to the end of this 17-mile-long line, uh -huh. and there's one man and... The emptiest parking <laughs> lot you've ever seen. Like no it is cars at all. Lo uh, Lone Pine Mall. You could go straight to 88 miles an hour and nobody would blink. There's so much room. There's no cars here. Maybe they were just short on cars that day. Uh, well, you know, that's the problem, Bryce, is that a lot of people needed fucking cars. So we're like, hey, we're looking for new rental cars. And he's like, oh, that's not here. You've got to go outside to visitor parking and there's another shuttle for you and i'm sorry did you say i'm sorry it sounded like you said another another it, shuttle because it, it sounds like an i just want to make sure that the audio is good because it sounds like you said another shuttle another shuttle that we need to get on to get to new rental cars wait i have one question yep did you wait in the line to ask oh thank Bonnie, god who no who the fuck are you married to <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are you married to? Of course we didn't wait in the line to ask. No, because I know this. I've got a ticking time bomb on my hand <laughs> with Brian. Like oh, Brian, I know. Brian is I like, know. like, uh, um, like uh, from the second he's like trying to scheme different ways that like we can find a ride to hey get boss. another ride. Hey uh, so he tries to hey boss the budget people, uh, and and he he's he's my press agent uh, uh, for the famous politics 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 podcast. And the guy's like, yeah, we ain't got no cars. And this is definitely not the place that you need to go. You need to go to the other place. So we walk outside, and this shit is, again, hotter than fucking hell. And Brian is scheming, and I... It's, I, I, it's somewhere around, like, uh, the fourth or fifth minute standing in the bright sunlight that... No, no, because here's the thing. We're not even at the, the, the place when Brian keeps kind of, like, trailing behind a little uh. bit. So I'm like trying to walk to this elevator and Brian's just kind of slow walking <laughs> and I just know him well enough to be like, he's scheming something <laughs> like he's going to try to like buy, borrow someone's car for $30 or something or like yeah. see if he can pay the shuttle driver to drive us to the hotel. You're giving him ideas. Look at him. You're giving him ideas. No, like, yeah. <laughs> but, but I also know it's hotter than hell and there's not going to be a lot of time for him to think. So I get to the thing. We go down and we finally get to what? Uh, I, I, just just a bus station stop standing there baking in the sun. And after I can't take it anymore, I pull out my phone and I type in the words titty bar. And then I call the, lo the closest titty bar. And I, I say, uh, 
Hello, this is Brian Brushwood, representative of Just Robert Young. We're here from <laughs> Bonnie's Paradise. Uh, <laughs> can you get us a car immediately? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. The, the question was, yeah, do you pick up? The, yeah. <laughs> Which I, did, I didn't know that that has happened since the 80s. Uh, but worth asking. I mean, if that was I, the first idea before, say, a lift or a taxi. It sounded like that would be the fastest one. <laughs> is is money <laughs> is in search the, of titties? <laughs> is going to a stripper bar is the fastest one? Right? I mean, I, I I thought I thought who are the type of establishments that really will just drop everything and go pick someone up and, and say it's a they're all like uh uh and it was and how much real, did you think this would cost you? I didn't give a rat's ass. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, we are we are in full. Uh, uh, we, uh, it was fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are certain times where Brian, his eyes move to the back of his head and he just has the, the whites like the undertaker. And he's just like, is it a money problem? I can solve it with money. What do you want, money? Let's figure it out. Here's okay. money. But uh, uh, so uh, 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 you're, you're on the phone. Let, let's do, let's do a, 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 a simulation of that phone call. Sure. And, and, and in my defense, we had just come from Vegas where the rules are different. And uh, my mind. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I, this I, is the strip club. Uh, Hello, this is uh, Brian Brushwood. Uh, I'm, I'm calling on behalf of, uh, I, I'm the manager for Just Robert Young from Politics, Politics, Politics. Uh -huh. uh, uh, we're call, uh, we had an appointment here. Uh, yeah. We're from Austin, Texas, representing Bonnie's Paradise. Uh -huh. uh, do you guys have a car ready for us? Car ready for you? Oh yeah! Oh no no no! Yeah, yeah. We, we 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 had a meeting. I uh, uh, I forget what time it was. Uh, it was it, we had a four o'clock, and uh, we were told we were gonna be, get picked picked up. No. Huh? Pick up? You, you mean we'd pick you up? Oh yeah yeah yeah! No no no! We need you to pick us up. Take us over there immediately. No. <sighs> <laughs> so. Yeah, we don't pick you up. <laughs> uh, we're open. <laughs> okay. Like cool. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. That is an actual length of that phone call. That was not extended for comedic effect. That's exactly how long it went. That's that's how angry <laughs> that heat was making me. <laughs> At that point, I know I got to tap out, and we just got to get a, an Uber to the hotel. Fuck the car that we were going to get. Uh, and I'm like, all right, I get an Uber. And I'm like, look, one of these two things is showing up. Our second shuttle or By the, the way, Uber. That was really kind of you to let me like a tired toddler cry it out <laughs> like 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 understanding that asking me to stop was not going to yield anything I, 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 no no your teammates i knew, I knew that there is like you know as, as somebody who's traveled with brian a lot <laughs> i would say that we should confer because you mm -hmm. you need to like Time your snacks. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be sure I, that although the I'm in trouble. Go quickly, and yep. you and usually you can you can be like, yeah, but it, I've got a tired Brian here, <laughs> yeah, and you're holding him by the hand, and you're just like, we really need to get through this. We gotta through. go. We gotta go. He might pee himself. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> but but meanwhile, like there's like, nowhere there's nowhere for us to go, right? Like the only we're just standing out here at this bus stop in the blazing sun in the middle of the day in Phoenix. 111. Finally, that's not an exaggeration. Finally, uh, the uh, uh uh in Phoenix right now. Yeah. It's 108 in Phoenix right now, so it's colder than it was when when we were telling this oh story. My God. Uh so we uh finally the the shuttle shows up. The shuttle's pretty fun. Because there's a <laughs> character on it who just really wants to give people water. <laughs> My God, Aww. that was weird. And he's just on it, and he's just like looking for water. Want a water? He wait, who uh, needs the water? He was asking or bottle of water. Uh, Want no. a bottle of water? We're looking. I got a, a waters need a hoe. <laughs> Don't let these loose waters be loose for too long. Put them in your belly. Uh, uh, thank Do you, you very want much. Water? Uh, I, I would not like a water. One uh, water. <laughs> One water for you. 
No. Water for you? No, uh, water for me. I Just kidding. I'm full on water. <laughs> I need to get rid of him, though. Hey, hold Anybody on the water, water guy. Some of us need the water there guy over here. There are four people in this shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> Brian and I and a family of two with a child. So five people, four adults God. in this shuttle. This man asks about water for a solid fucking five minutes yeah. on the way back to this other rental car place. They're asking in the chat, was the water cold? Of course it wasn't. No. Oh, no. It was room temperature water. bullshit water. At the rental place here, they put it in a little fridge at least. <laughs> we get to new rental oh. car. <laughs> And I bet it was great oh, once you got. I bet you got there and it was smooth sailing. It, it actually, it actually. Uh, 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 thankfully, we found the one place where a budget had a line of fifty thousand people for the three cars that they had, and one of them had fleas flying out of it. Uh, <laughs> but new rental car had enough cars. Nobody was there but us and that other family. Yeah. Uh, do you know why there was nobody there? Because Bowser's the last boss of the fucking game. You gotta make it all the way to Bowser. But you saved money, didn't you? Good. You saved money, didn't you? So meanwhile, the dude, the dude at the at, at the thing I does called this a titty thing. Bar, Bonnie. You, uh, uh, I, he, I'm not surprised. <laughs> he he does this thing. The guy at the counter does this thing that happens when you rent a lot of cars, uh, where they'll shame you for <laughs> uh, the, how small of a car you rented. <laughs> And I, and I don't know. I don't know if this just wait, 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 happened. Like, to dudes. like, like, wait, wait, like wait, they're wait. shocked. Like they're Oh, do they on purpose, huh? Do they go? You know, this represents your penis. When when it's a young guy at the counter, and you can tell that there's a strain of rental car dudes that want to be bigger salespeople and they look at this as a sales opportunity and they're looking for every little thing, every little button they can press. Yeah. And so uh, the guy's like, nice, energetic young dude. And he's like, tip, 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 tip. Oh. and you have a Nissan Versa or similar. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, Was there uh, something messed up with his microphone that made him sound like that? <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> We will not move on. Stand for Versa slander here, Bonnie. <laughs> uh, and he's like Nissan Versa or similar. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, just between me and you, um, you know, you don't have to drive the Versa. <laughs> you know, we actually have a Dodge Charger here on the lot, and I can upgrade you to that rock hard virile. Veiny Dodge Charger, <laughs> like it's just gonna be twenty bucks a day, so it's <laughs> off the lot, man. Twenty bucks. You can get the Mesa. Uh, the Mesa. By the uh. way, at this point, Justin, super veteran, super pro. No. Yeah, and then he's like, uh, "Okay, well, let me get you your keys." <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. So we're at a versus. <laughs> Tell me you got the charger out of there. Here's the keys to your Dodge Charger. <laughs> Get him ass. Uh, it's, it's, it's so odd how you don't recognize how bonkers the situation is until you get some distance from it. <laughs> we get to the hotel, and it's a beautiful hotel with this gorgeous view of Tempe and Phoenix. Yeah, because right? it's like up. And this elevated uh, mountain thing. Clearly modeled after Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah, everything everything in Phoenix looks like Big Thunder Mountain. They're just like, let's make a city out of Big Thunder Mountain. Just throw up Hardee's there and <laughs> it'll be fine. So the only problem is, is that all of the lobby, because they want to show off this gorgeous view, is in glass. Mm, so the know. coldest that it gets oh. in the restaurant... Or the lobby bar, and I realized this today on the way in here, is a hot car when you've turned your AC as high as it can go. <laughs> like, it, you're never cold. What, you're, you're definitely always... staring at direct sunlight no matter where you sit. Exactly. Uh, and so, fuck Phoenix. Yep. Uh, oh, I, I, uh, just to put a button on it, uh, uh, I did get a message from Patrick Cohn, who's going to be coming out next week, and he was uh, uh, time jumper. Uh, uh, wanted to connect the Donna Patreon, and 
uh, and I was like, oh, it's so funny. We, we are, we're in Phoenix. We're leaving Phoenix right now. And he just replies with two words. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Bryce, do we have another topic? Uh, we, if we do if we, have one more topic. Yeah, let's go. A Vegas bonus. Nice. Uh, we did a bonus episode without Bryce. You yeah. what? Yep. We did. Kept a promise. We did. We we did a bonus episode. That, if you haven't listened to it, and this is also going to be our Patreon plug, patreon.com slash great night. Uh, I would encourage you to listen to it because it is the product of us getting to the airport. How early? It was early. Trip How early was it? What's up? A couple <laughs> drinks on the plane. <laughs> Uh, uh, by the time Justin, you... I'm going to admit I don't remember much of the bonus episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm highly curious as to how other people enjoyed it. <laughs> Bryce, you listened to it. Uh, I think well, I was a part of it. You did. I yeah. was a part you of got, it. You got bit. called because uh, uh, there's only so much that we were able to riff. <laughs> oh, oh, oh and, and we wanted trivia. We wanted trivia questions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh it was fun. It was funny. I always have an, an, a novel experience listening to the show when I haven't been a part of recording it. <laughs> and, and yes, uh, I did almost get entirely doxxed yeah. on the bonus recording. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, Bryce, you did. Bryce didn't, yeah, Bryce didn't pick up the phone when I called him, <laughs> which meant I got the stock answering machine, which says, you've just called number, number, number. <laughs> and, I, and I only realized after like the fifth number that I, I was like, directly <laughs> holding <laughs> my, my mic up oh my to God. the phone. <laughs> but it was uh, uh, it was good. Were you guys high during it? No, we had drank uh, uh, a lot in the morning. Oh, uh, you drank uh, a lot. Well, yeah. Yeah, we were on a flight. It was Southwest. It, uh, 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 yeah. Brian, Brian likes to hey boss his way through the through the bar on the Southwest flights. I mean, oh, th there's yeah. a reason that Justin and I are not drinking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, oh, and I forgot this. This lady at the goddamn airport. Uh -oh. We're at the airport, and it's like 7.30 in the morning, and we're at the bar, and we're having a conversation, we're talking, we're bullshit, we're doing the same thing that we do right now, because it's yeah, the yeah. only way that Brian and I know how to talk to each other. And ass. we're drinking, and you know, every once in a while, a fox slips out, a shit slips out. This lady keeps looking to me like I'm the problem because I'm using profanity at the bar at 7.30 in the morning <laughs> in the airport, okay? Are, are you want to know what? This is not where you get to reign, woman. Well, I am in pain. You do not walk into a hospital and start spitting on the patient's faces. You are you here give where them a goat. I am trying to get my mind right before I get on a flight. That is inappropriate, and you should see the principal. <laughs> so how was it, Bryce? It was fun. It was fun. You guys were loosey-goosey. Bullshit. Oh. This woman. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Patreon.com slash great night yeah, is where you, you can support this very show and hear so many inside tales that we won't remember. The bonus episodes are good, y'all. Like, I know some podcasts are like, go to our Patreon to get bonus episodes, but our bonus episodes are good. Uh, Those other ones, their bonus episodes are, are fucking awful. They're Ours liars. They, they, every other podcast is the new car rental of podcasts with yep. their bullshit bonus episodes. That's right. We are be, be, uh, good. Alamo. We're I, Alamo. I, Don't forget us. No, I, I can't. I can't think of anything good in Phoenix. Neither can I. Yeah. Oh, I did. Uh, 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 I, Brett did text me something that he wanted said during the show, oh. and and I forgot to tell you, Bonnie, during the the oh. intro. Oh. Uh, that. Uh -oh. Uh, 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 September. Welcome to September, where there's one day that you remember, and another you never forget. That's right. <laughs> Well, it's too late for that. It's, 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 no, no, we're, no, no, we're on track. We knocked off one. We'll <laughs> hang on to the other. We got this. Bryce, do we have a game? We do have a game. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Oh, we've got a game. We do have a game. <laughs> yeah, that's something Brett usually says. We have games 
on the show, Bonnie. Would you like to play with us? Wait, uh, what do I do during the game? Well, uh, uh, I'm going to explain how the game works, and then you're going to play along with everybody else. Oh, oh okay, great. Okay. And also, uh, do us a favor. Claim that you're going to keep track of the score, but don't actually do it. Don't Rely worry. on Bryce. I can Bryce. do that. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I got it. Don't awesome. worry. I have the, you, you keep the fake score. I'll keep the real score. Keep, we got. I'll we, keep the fake score. There we go. Awesome. Yeah. So this is a game called, Do They Have NFTs? I'm going to give you the name of someone, and you're just going to have to tell me if you think that they were, or uh, if they are offering an official non-fungible token, an NFT, with them or their likeness. So NFTs, if you don't know, are uh, part of the cryptocurrency thing. They are basically cryptocurrency at JPEGs, their Tra images. trading trading artifacts, tradable artifacts. Yeah, they're like baseball cards, um, but digital. But digital. So I'm going to give you the name of somebody. You just have to tell me if they do or do not have an NFT with them or their likeness. Easy. Ready. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, uh, and Bonnie, you'd like to you you you're, you're going to play as well, right? Awesome. I'm All ready. Right. All right, Justin, we'll start with you. Yeah, I, I know celebrities. All right, I'm Justin. a celebrity whisperer. Well, uh, whisper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What's funny is I thought you meant you speak to many celebrities, but when you say you're a celebrity whisperer, oh, I just whisper the word celebrity. <laughs> oh, not okay. two celebrities. You just, that's the word that you whisper. That's a, the word I whisper. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm also a whisper, a whisper. <laughs> yeah. You whisper you. Word, just any word. Celebrity. All right. Okay. Thank you very All much. right. Your celebrity is. Paris Hilton. Does Paris Hilton have a celeb NFT? So when you say a celeb NFT, do you mean that they are involved in NFTs or yeah. that that uh, they have a specific one that's only dedicated to them? Fabulous question. We are looking for uh, uh, people who have an NFT that uh, is of themselves or of a depiction of themselves that they are offering. They're making official. that bank. They're so, cashing in them dollars for official I, I, NFTs. Not, not them holding them, but if they've actually made one of themselves. I believe that there is a Paris Hilton NFT, and I believe it is of the bored yacht ape variety. All right. Just, uh, Brian? Uh, I, I, if Paris I remember Hilton. correctly, uh, there's many of them, but, uh, but I, yes, there is. Brian's going to say yes to Paris Hilton. Bonnie, what do you think? Does Paris Hilton have, a, have an NFT? There is no reason for me to think that Paris Hilton wouldn't sell herself in any format. So, yes, Paris Hilton has. She's got many. plushies. She's got, she's got satellites. Yes, absolutely. She probably has a makeup line, a perfume line, a, a tattoo line, and her own line uh, NFTs for her tattoos. You know, she's she's uh, the new mascot for Hilton. <laughs> Hilton Hotels. Hilton oh. Hotels, yeah. Like like she's like the star the of their new ad. What campaign. a long game that is. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> what a long game. Beginning at birth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so does she get into like a little a little plushy version of herself? And then she's like, hello, it's me. Well, I, I well, it's, like they're, a, they're it's a celebrity family, endorsement. It's not like a, a yeah, mascot. Their family sold their interest in the hotel chain a while ago. So this right. is literally just her as a celebrity uh, just because she's got the last name Hilton and she's synonymous with that brand. But she just like walks up and she's like, I got, a, I got a, a dog and a, and a thing. And, uh. Did and you then say somebody's dog. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bryce. <laughs> so, Bonnie, you said yes, right? Okay. Uh, all right, you all said yes, and all of your answers of yes were. Bam. Yeah. Right. It's, it's hard to cheer for that, knowing that she's making money on an NFT. Uh, in fact, uh, Hilton created a series uh, that featured three unique pieces entitled Hummingbird in My Metaverse, Legend of Love, and Iconic Crypto Queen. As of April 2021, Hilton sold the entire collection for just over a million dollars. In fact, she loves cryptocurrency so much, she named her dogs Crypto Hilton and Ether Reum. You know, I thought I was angry standing in the baking sun. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. And I'm listening to like porno stars <laughs> narrating. Right now? Oh. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I was like, who who showed you who showed you those links? And you were in the green room listening to Yeah, okay, all right. Yes, yes. <laughs> Learn how to sell just what I that would be a great 
if you just had uh, cryptocurrency explained to you by male porn stars. <laughs> so there's a blockchain <laughs> that is a, it's no, like a hard math problem. Yeah. Knock, knock, knock. Here's your pizza. Here's Let the thing about, about cryptocurrencies. <laughs> They're hard currencies. Turgid. Mountainous. Voluminous. Towering above you. Your estimation <laughs> of, male, of male porn actors' acting skills is, is, is miles above mine. <laughs> Brian's really tight. Yeah, you're like, you're like tight. Jeremy Irons drops <laughs> dick on camera. <laughs> I, I, th- thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Sir. Uh, round two. Uh, Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Turgid. All of Brian's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've literally never heard the word turgid in any of romance books. <laughs> all, all, all of Brian's Jack material gets seven minutes standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> the balls get up and walk away about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and yet there's also spitting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Brian, your celebrity is ready. Harrison Ford. Does oh, Harrison Ford have no. an MD? Well, hold on. Mm. Doesn't need the money. Get off my plane. High as a kite Unless all the time. Unless you're going to buy my NFT. Still wondering how David Blaine did that. <laughs> no, he has no need for NFT. Uh, uh, married to Calista Flockhart. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no NFTs. All right, Brad's going to say no NFTs. Bonnie Brushwood, does Harrison Ford have a non-fungible token? No. You're going to say no? Why do you say no? I, I think he has uh, an, enough self-esteem to not <laughs> need the NFT. <laughs> All right. There we go. Justin, Robert Young, we're going to go back to you. One Harrison Ford. Does he have an unvendable dog? I think he's got kids in their 20s or 30s uh, right. that might say, dead, this is the greatest thing. And he's like, I don't know. I'm really high. And then <laughs> next thing you know, there's a Harrison Ford NFT. Rack it, Bryce. Yes. All right. Justin says real Bonnie and Brian said no. We were looking for. No, he ah, does yeah. not. Yeah. Uh, in fact, a sketchy Twitter thread seemed to imply that someone asked Harrison Ford uh, and he said he doesn't even own an NFT, let alone sell one. So, uh, what, in what, his what, defense, what, what, what do thought, you think he thought an NFT was? A Nintendo fun toy. <laughs> yeah, that, that one. That's probably. I don't one. like Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make it to Bowser. <laughs> I feel for that Luigi guy. He's, Where's he's, he's, the princess? Was in another castle, so I threw it out the window. <laughs> no ticket. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That I was got, really good. Right, thank you. Hey, I got a couple. Of, I got a couple in there. Uh, Bonnie, we're gonna start with you on this one. Okay. Uh, the celebrity you're going to have to answer if they have an NFT is Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Does she have an official non-fungible token? Oof. Ooh, absolutely. You say absolutely. Why do you say that? I. I feel like if I feel like it's an NFT with the big booty. Okay. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, NFT with the big booty. Definitely. Okay. okay. A, a, a big badonka ba- blockchain. Yes. A badonka. A badonka block. blockchain. Mm-hmm. Badonka blockchain Absolutely. is my Roblox game for this episode. <laughs> Maybe we can name that. This this is the new game. Uh, Justin, we're actually going to go to you now. But Bonnie yeah. said yes. Justin, does Kim Kardashian have a celeb NFT? I think no, because they have a a, a lot of other kind of lines, uh, specifically in like manufacturing and stuff like that. So I kind of feel like of all the celebrities that want to make all the money at all times, uh, they might just have too much other shit that they want to draw attention to that they didn't want to get into the the weird world of crypto. This is actually a really good argument because it uh, it conveys that it, not because she's unsavvy, but because she's so savvy, she understands the perils of, of, of line extension. Yeah. And, and I could totally see her 
waiting this one out to see whether or not it would damage your brand to, to have an NFT. You know what? I think you talked me into joining, joining oh, your team. Shit. <laughs> now let's mint a, uh, an NFT called Agreements. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. How nope. many Shiba coins will it sell for? No <laughs> one's quite sure. All right, so Justin and Brian have said no. Bonnie has said yes. The answer that we were looking for was... She does not! No! 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 That she is often impersonated and has gotten in trouble for promoting cryptocurrency schemes... She's she's promoted the scheme. She's promoted schemes, but well, not crypto NFTs. Schemes she are different sell. than than NFTs. Yeah, there's a whole there's a difference between the coins and the NFTs. So it's like there's still there's still counterfeit dollars. They just don't have her face on it. Yeah, they're counterfeit yeah. dollars, not <laughs> yeah. not fine art painting. Do they have right. her badonka badonka? <laughs> she is a full person body. She has other body parts, <laughs> but she does have two cheeks. All right, round four. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you see her, she's got this weird butt lump thing that's happening. So yeah. Anytime you see her. <laughs> Every time when you're you out see at, her. You want to know what, Bonnie? Uh, you, empty, <laughs> empty the file on Kim Kardashian. <laughs> what other Kim Kardashian? Wait, what else do we know? We know, we know when she's shopping at Vons in Los Angeles, she's got this lump on her butt. I mean, it is. It's this weird, like, like, right? like thing yeah but the uh, uh uh i i read a really interesting article in that it was uh, no 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 i think it was uh i think it was um uh, an erotic fiction audiobook no it was it was my best friend okay all right so we're skipping on here no, 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 no. It was uh, it was uh, the person that played Liz Lemon, and I don't know Tina Fey, your Faye. best friend, yep. one of the most famous <laughs> comedians that you, you know, call your best friend and I you can't like, access her name. No, no, no. It's just that for, like, oh. the, week, the week that, and she could be your best friend too. <laughs> if you listen. As long as you, if you just say it. If you listen to Bossy Pants, then you're just like, oh, she's my best friend. So in Bossy Pants, she, she explains, she's like, yeah, you know, so I didn't fit into that 1980s, like, perfect girl look that was happening at the time of the perfect girl of the 1980s. And right. It always changes. Like every three or four years it changes. Like now it's all about the lips and now it's all about the hair. Right. And then fucking Kim Kardashian came in and she was like, it's about her lips and her hair and her ass and her boobs. And so you had to look exactly like her and then it just screw everything up for everybody. Because if you're not her, then you're just shit. But that's kind of freeing in a way because then, like, you can just. Do you know that is exactly what uh, 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 is in the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I was thinking the, uh, the host of politics, politics, politics. Um, oh, oh, shit, oh, Andrew Heaton, Andrew Heaton. <laughs> Your best friend, Andrew Heaton. Bi Bible was a better hit. Uh, <laughs> you won. It's good. Anyway, so that's that's my download. Okay, there we go. Screw Kim Kardashian, <laughs> says Bonnie Brushwood. I'm sure a lot of people want to. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, where are we? Uh, I think we're ready for another round. Yes? Yep. Yeah. What's the score, Bryce? Ah, well, let me go to the score computer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, I'm supposed to be keeping score. No, you're no, supposed to be fake no, score, yeah, remember? Uh, you're on Kardashian watch. You're on Kardashian watch. <laughs> Uh, Justin's got two points. Bonnie's got two points when Brian Brushwood has three points. <gasps> oh. I knew it! I was actually going to say it correctly. <laughs> and I want the points for it. You don't get points do, for Do we get to do that? Just, just <laughs> whatever just, happens. There's no, so you, we just got to let it go. We just got to let it go. Right. Bonnie is just a butterfly <laughs> that flits around this show wherever she wants. It would be an amazing mentalism show. <laughs> hey, say anything. <laughs> I knew it. Oh. Should we... I'm, should we say? I, oh. Should we say that what's it my new character? Uh, yes. You have a new stage character. I have oh. a new idea, a new concept for a. Maybe new, you can a help new, us a new iron fake, this one. A out. new fake magic character. So uh, it's a mentalist, and his name is Doug Mind Reader. <laughs> wow. Now, okay, you know what you're yeah. getting on the tin. You with know Doug. what you're getting. But he comes out and he's like, hi, I'm Doug Mind Reader. I can read everybody's mind and I <laughs> fucking hate it. 
<laughs> it sucks so bad. God, it fucking you're gross. It's <laughs> it's really really disgusting. And so I want to come out here and do my best to be as much of a mind reader as possible so I get something wrong and I embarrass myself so bad that nobody ever comes to me for mind reading advice ever again. And so the rest of the show is him getting everything right. And whenever it's like, uh, sir, was it Poughkeepsie? Well, yeah, yeah. Yes, it was. Uh, How did you know? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, until eventually at the end, he finally gets something wrong. Uh, and, he's, and for the first time, you see true electric joy that this man is free and he's like <laughs> I did it I did it I did it I said it was 1825 and it wasn't 1825 and then it's revealed that he did get it right he's just <laughs> fuck <laughs> that's it there's something there there's something there's there something. that's yeah. a good bit we'll, we'll tease something it out there. yeah Doug Mind Reader coming to uh, uh, the pre-show the pre-show of a Brian performance <laughs> <laughs> near you all right, we're going to go into round four here. And we're going to start again with Justin. Justin, are you ready to go? Yep. Your celeb is Tony Hawk. Does he have an NFT? Oh, uh, the Hawkman. The Hawk Arena. Hawk Town, USA. Hawk it up and hawk it down. I think that Tony Hawk has an NFT because. He skateboards too much. <laughs> and he's like, I need to diversify so, myself into <laughs> NFTs. Enough of all this skateboarding. That's for children. I, I'm an adult. I need to get into what adults do. <laughs> it's an attack Business preparation. and NFTs. Right. I, I, I'm Tony. I'm going to eat a sandwich. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Tony is I me. thought about it. Oh, hi. Uh, hello. It's me, <laughs> Tony Hawk. Ring, ring. It's, it's me, your business manager. Oh, hi, business man. Hey, uh, I'm glad that you called me because I want to let you know this. <laughs> I'm not setting a fucking toe on a skateboard ever again. It's for babies. Uh, you know what? I I was actually just calling to congratulate you on the 100th anniversary of Tony Hawk's uh, video game empire. Don't care. Uh, okay. I got a new thing I'm into. <laughs> oh, you ready oh, for this? Yeah. What? What? Sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> I just but, ate one, and I, now I love them, and I want to sell them. Well, uh, uh, well, I was Tony calling, sandwich. I was calling That's about what I'm gonna. <laughs> it's gonna be hawk your way into a sandwich. <laughs> That's the slogan. It's just a hawk going. So, uh, also, we're gonna launch it with an NFT. <laughs> oh, oh, I was calling about NFTs, but uh, but uh, uh, what if we, we cut out the sandwich part uh, and just kept the NFT part? Mm. Now that I've eaten the sandwich, I'm less <laughs> in love with this idea. <laughs> You're a brilliant man. <laughs> Click. Okay, so that's uh, yes. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Nope. 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 You're gonna say no. Why do you say no? Uh, because everybody knows. Everybody knows. That Tony Hawk is afraid of computers. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Look it up on his Wikipedia. He's noted, terrified of him. Noted Luddite Tony Hawk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, why do you think he just rolls around in an empty pool all day? One time Who got, does that? One, 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 one time he got startled <laughs> by a modem. <laughs> And he's like, I'm off this shit forever. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to roll around on wheels in a pool. Yeah. But yeah. no water. No exactly. water. No water. No. You want to know where he would want water? Uh, if, if a computer was around, <laughs> he'd throw it on it. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, actually. Uh, and then he would ask the guy from the bus, <laughs> from the shuttle, yeah. for, for a water to throw oh, on the computer. He would yeah. be his best friend. Yeah. All right. Yep. Bonnie? Bonnie, would Tony Hawk would would Tony Hawk have a celebrity NFT? I think that he heard somewhere that you give your soul away when you have a NFT made after you, and <laughs> so he was just like, "No." Yep, that tracks. Yeah. So you think on like religious grounds? Yeah. Yeah, and the fact he doesn't that want his soul to be taken high, from him. He was like, no, no, that seems weird. You think Tony Hawk's yeah. getting high, professional athlete? Well, yeah, dude, smoking that cheap. How 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 Puffin? else are you gonna spin around so many times? How high do you think Tony pipe? Hawk gets, Bonnie? 
I like on, on an average day, if he's like just is he a little bit higher, is he like, wow, man, I'm really high. It's 20 feet. I think he's probably had a lot of injuries and he's probably medicating for that, like, you know. So he's like, I'm fucking, I'm dying. <laughs> give, me, <laughs> give me some weed. Hey, ring, ring. Give me, uh, ring. Ah, shit, man. Hold hey, on. Hey, hold on. on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to, I'm trying to take my medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, it's me, your doctor. I'm not I, done taking my medicine. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to call. To tell you that for a middle-aged man, still you're exhaling. Let him exhale, Doc. You're an extraordinary. Oh shit, dude! <laughs> I'm so fucking high right now. I'm, I'm, I've got medicine high, a medicine brain. Uh, well, uh, who is this? <laughs> uh, this is your doctor. Oh hi, Mr. President. <laughs> uh, I voted for you. <laughs> I'm Tony Hawk. <laughs> I fucking oh shit, fuck, shit. <laughs> I I I was just calling. To I already voted. <laughs> I gave it the office. Okay. I, I, Hi. What is what? You, you, are you calling to make a donation? <laughs> I'm sorry. To whom? Spinal spinosis. <laughs> I mean, I'm Tony Hawk. I'm a celebrity. <laughs> All right. Get me yeah. out of here. Get back in the pool. Get back. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't say that too loud. All right. So Justin said yes. Bonnie and Brian said no. The answer we were looking for was Tony Hawk does. Oh, of what? Yeah. He does. He, uh, <laughs> Among the NFTs that will be available of for purchase lumps? is a digital replica of the skateboard that Hawk used when he became the first person to land the 900, uh, the skateboarding uh -huh. trick, at the X Games in 1999. He's basically... That was uh, actually a really dope moment. Like, yeah, he, he tried 75 times and kept yeah. on failing. Yeah. Uh, he is uh, making a skate park level in a Roblox-like game that uses NFTs for items. Okay, so. I'm glad you brought this up. Hear me out. Yeah. Darth Vader is the biggest dipshit mm -hmm. in the Star Wars universe. Yes. He literally has never succeeded at anything ever in any movie ever. He succeeded off camera. And everyone's like, no, who succeeds a lot. Lord Vader. And they're like, whoa, man, you should you miss, missed it five minutes ago. <laughs> He was whipping ass. That guy rules. So he's like a Three's Company episode yeah. <laughs> where he's comically <laughs> winning just off camera. Off camera. Trying to convince Mr. Furley that, that he's definitely badass. Yep. <laughs> and then he gets into the story and <laughs> just fucking dipshits it up. Yeah. On everything. Sucks. Always. Okay. All Always. Right. Well, oh. It's just one on one. He's able to. He control. did win the pod race. Like one on one. He controls the situation. Yeah. That right? shit was because rigged though. He can just like mind choke you, mm -hmm. but then like he can't actually destroy a planet. I think he did that a couple of times. No, that was Tarkin. God, God you're gonna drag me into this shit. He's a yep. fucking dipshit. <laughs> Come at oh, me, bros. I think he's a great winner. <laughs> yes, uh, Annie, you're oh. running this pod race. This is, like, uh. this, is how, this is how dumb I am. Is I didn't think of the character you're doing. I thought of Postini. <laughs> I was like, oh, what are you shockingly doing? similar voices. <laughs> uh, uh, luckily, Postini did not have any outwardly <laughs> offensive racial coding. <laughs> 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 I, I don't know about that last though. All right, <laughs> uh, we got uh, got time for two more here. Do yeah, it for a very quick one. Uh, we are going to start with Brian on this one. Brian, this is your turn. Yeah, I'm like the reverse Darth Vader. If uh, only there was a character that was like the opposite of Darth Vader in every way. One day, one day we'll It'd be find me. out. Okay, uh, your celeb is Kate Moss. Kate Moss. Does Kate Moss have a celebrity NFT of her? Oh, so one of the original supermodels, Kate Moss. <sighs> What's your? What are your favorite Kate Moss memories, personally, Brian? What do you when when I say Kate Moss? Uh, 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 what what do you think of? Oh, I think about how I went to hug her and snapped her back. You your bane. <laughs> no, she's very skinny. She's famously very she's, thin. Yes. But if you were, you'd be bane to her. 
Uh, well, I would. I uh, if you were going to comically break or, 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 or dramatically break someone's back, like Bane, it would have to be somebody as small as Kate Moss. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, call me. Wow. Uh, okay. Kate. Kate. Call. <laughs> call me by your Bane. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I don't know what to do with Bane and Kate Moss. Yes, I are. Apparently, call her. <laughs> Trying to it's, yes, and your I know. Back breaking. I, I guess. Hey, well, guess what? I, I fucking got lost. Like, like, uh, like all right, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, guys. Brian, it happened in the movie, though, right? A snap. Kate, no, Kate Moss's. No, spine it was gave her spinal spiniosis. <laughs> Kate Moss was uh, Batman. <laughs> that's right. Gosh, somebody help him. Uh, I, you, fuck, you'd know, Bryce. Somebody you didn't see the goddamn me. movie. You were watching Space Jam 2 instead. That's right. Brian, does Kate Moss have an NFT? Uh, nope, 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 nope. Actually, she does, but it's literally her uh, 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 diving through the tubes of the internet and literally showing up to say hi <laughs> and then diving what? back in. <laughs> She's that thin. Yep. So, oh, okay. Thin okay. as an electron, famously. Exactly. It's just Kate Moss hula hooping a Cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> the '90s are back, everybody. We're pulling out all the Kate Moss jokes. The Cheerio hula hoop blown away on the breeze. <laughs> Information Superhighway is a new one. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so was that a yes or a no, Brian? That was a no. That was a no. All yeah. right. Bonnie, does Kate Moss have a non-fungible token? But it's so tiny, nobody <laughs> can see it. So I'm going to say no. Like, if there was a, a token, then it got lost. All right. She's going to say, <laughs> okay, she's going to say, <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Uh, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to say about Kate Moss, though. I don't know. Justin, we're going to go to you. Does Kate Moss? Oh, you're always talking shit about her. Am I? Oh yeah, in your sleep. <laughs> in, wow, she's like, I walked in. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> I know the secrets that you keep. Murder, murder, shit talking. Kate Moss in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know enough about Kate. Uh, what do you think, Justin? Does she have an NFT? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that, Justin? Uh, oh, it's probably some <coughs> like uh, uh, supermodel collection or some shit like that. She seems like somebody that like would meet somebody at a party and they'd be like, "It is the hot new thing. It is NFTs. You should you should be on the NFT." And she's like, oh, "I don't know. I trust Gustav." Uh, I I I actually I st I still stick to my answer of no. But if she did have one, it almost certainly would be for a charity. Of some sort. Hell no. Yep. He's taking that cash. Yeah, I agree. Cash grab. I know <laughs> nothing. Like I know nothing of Kate Moss, but I'm betting it would be for charity. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You guys have positive thoughts about oh, the yeah. altruism of Kate Moss. Oh uh, yeah, no. I guess so. A she's fragile the, back. She's but always a big rattling. heart. <laughs> <laughs> rattling that can, saying, yeah. "Save the Vader." And her knees hurt from that spinal spinosis. Spinal All right. Spinosis, All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, Justin has said yes. I don't know if that was a real disease or not. <laughs> <laughs> Brian and Bonnie have said no. Kate Moss does have an yeah. NFT. Yeah. Is she um, made these videos of her walking uh, and driving and you should not sleeping? Walk and drive at what the same is time. Uh, these, uh, uh, Moss made about $17,000 from the NFTs and donated the proceeds to a nonprofit organization. Hey! Hey! Yes! Congratulations. Yes! You still lost. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Going into our final round here. Let's take a look at the points. Uh oh. Why don't we? Uh, Bonnie. Yeah. You've got two points. Brian, you've got three points. Yep. Those. Justin, you've got four points. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. And we are coming up on our final round. I'm going to tell you a celebrity who does have an NFT. Huh. Oh. And you're going to tell me what that NFT is. Oh. And the closest without going over will get the point. Wait. And five points and win the game. Whoa. It's wait, our wait, final wait, round. Wait, wait, wait. So yes, we're, Bonnie. Putting, we're, we're going to 
say how much it is? Uh, no. be, be, be. We're going to say gonna what, gonna it what it is. What it is. We're going to describe it. Okay. Yeah, without going over the line. But uh, what is the line? Hopefully. Hopefully Wait, so. We've never found it. We're looking. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great night. <laughs> All right, Justin, because you are in the lead, you are yeah. going to have to defend your lead Let's and go, go first. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Justin, can you please tell me the NFT that Edward Snowden <gasps> has minted and sold? Oh. Uh, Edward Snowden has Snowden. minted and sold an NFT of the Project Prism information that he leaked that made him a fugitive. The Project Prism information. Yeah, the like NSA, CIA. The, the, program. the documents he leaked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, I. Brian, what do you think? Think he has an NFT. Yeah. Of that one weird screen grab of him with his half tilted head going there, like mid sentence that the whole world knows. The weird tilted head. Okay, good answer. Yep. Oh, good answer. Uh, yeah, him okay. kind of looking sad, like. Uh, probably yeah. this one that came up on Google. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That, yeah. that one. Okay. Yeah. That With his mouth, his photo. mouth is like about to open, but right. we don't know when. And it it's so weird because it was the only image that people had. And so like, uh, they're, they're out there marching in the streets with signs of that. Oh <laughs> All right. God. Well, okay. Oh, it's amazing. It's his face. Let's, about. let's, it's just his face. No, no, that exact picture. Back when we were looking for something to be mad about. <laughs> All right. So Brian, you're going to say it's that, uh, that stock image of his face. Yeah. And his simmering deep hatred for what a dipshit Darth Vader is. Yeah. That's true. But th that's implied. I that one's think, implied, got it. Now, didn't he, he worked for the company and then he went in and... The company. Yeah, yeah. Yes. what was that company again? The government. The government. The government. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that tracks. It, that was one of the, it, was that, it was one of their subsidiaries, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Subsidiary. I'm going to say that his NFT is actually of his badge, his clearance badge. Uh, oh. So, oh. so he's uh, tempting fate by releasing more classified information and selling it on the open market as an NFT. I mean, okay, no, 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 I, I agree. I mean, from him, like, not like he can get more fucked. <laughs> I mean, exactly. <laughs> all right, we've got all of your answers here. Justin said it was the prism info that he famously leaked. To was the press. that over the line? Brian said uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, the default image of... <laughs> Snowden that is used a lot in, uh, in in the press and also what was that about Batman's dick? Uh, no, he, he, <laughs> he I just wish like, that I had Batman's dick. <laughs> we'll da, 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 da. Where do I find a bat dick like that? Oh. And Bonnie said the security badge, one of his security <laughs> badges. All right, I'm going to show you here Edward Snowden's NFT entitled "Stay Free from 2021." This is Stay Free. This is a signed work uh, that combines the entirety of a landmark court decision ruling the NSA mass surveillance policy violates the law uh, while also uh, making the, a portrait. Uh, how would you describe what that appears to be a picture of? It looks like a badge. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I think if we might have our first three-way tie. <laughs> no, I think that's you because it is a big, long document, but it ain't the big, long document that I thought it was, and it is that portrait. Well, oh, it is? Of that yeah. exact one? No, it's a different no, photo. Not. How long is that? That's a different document. photo. That is definitely a different photo. Uh, I mean, but he, it's still his face. It is his face. So his face is like you can tell, see his face. In the thickness of the well, what text do you in the document. what do you think they put on their badges? Uh, <laughs> we, yeah. Let's I mean, it is a, you're right. It is a, you're right. It is an image of Edward Snowden. Yep. All right, I'm gonna put this in the I science machine. We Let's don't go. know if it's not the badge. It's definitely <laughs> not the picture you were talking. That'd be a weird badge. <laughs> it's like here's your badge. It's the entire <laughs> text of a decision that hasn't been made yet. <laughs> when you eventually betray us. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that I had Batman's mm. day. Ding, ding. Decision hole is being Batman's All right. Justin, I've been told to drop your answer into the answer hole because your answer is. <laughs> All right. Let's 
fucking go. Science has given you that point. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, this uh, sold for 5.4 million US dollars. God damn it. God damn. The money of which went to the Freedom for the Press Foundation that Edward Stronin is the president of. Ooh, good move, Charity. Hey. All right, and with nine points, your winner today is Justin Robert Yo. Huzzah. Congratulations, sir. If you've got an idea for a game, please send it into our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com. One more time, greatnightpod at gmail.com. Or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this. If you've got a question, a comment, high thought, a game, anything, send it in. Greatnightpod at gmail.com. Uh, Bonnie, what did we learn tonight? Well, Brian, we learned that Phoenix is hot. We also learned that people sometimes do miss their kids. Oh, it's been a great and we also learned that NFTs are best spent on charities. And it's been a really great night. I, I, think, I think she landed it. Uh, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Still a great night. We love you guys. Woo! Oh, it's been a great night. A gray a -A 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 night And I don't want to wait another week For another motherfucking gray a -A -A night Just to my friend, the pain never ends The moment you walk away Slamming my fingers in a door repeatedly Feels just the same Ow Gray night you keep me alive You help me survive No, there's never been a greater night A single bad, a later night A pause, the masturbation night A let's get drunk and laugh tonight There's never been a greater, great night Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>